Boys, today we're going to be going over the fastest way to end up leveling up your ball player in MLB The Show 23. Now, this has changed a little bit, and I did talk about it a little bit in my best ball player video, but we're going to be having an exclusive video, and we're going to make it a quick one about how you guys can level up your ball player fastest and get that 99 overall stud. Whether he is a hitter or a pitcher, this is going to work for both, and it's going to help you guys get it done ASAP. It is looking like it's going to take about an hour per tier, so it's going to take about three hours of game time to end up maxing out your ball player with this method. And without further ado, before we get into the video, if you guys don't mind hitting that like and sub button as we're on the road to 10k subscribers, I'd appreciate it and let's get right into it. So I'm kind of wanting to speed run this video a little bit. I don't want to make it longer than it is. I could drag it out to about a 10 minute video, but it's just not needed. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the main menu, go to the main screen, go to create, and you want to go to vault. And you're going to end up going to roster, end up sorting it by the uh, ascending, I believe. And that'll be the most downloads. And you're going to want to find the XP grind with any team. You're going to press on this and you're going to press download. And I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to press it. But when you press download, it's going to ask you to put a new save. You're going to save it and then you're going to press on new save again. And it'll end up saving the roster for you. Now, whenever you're making a road to the show player, all you're going to have to do is go to road to the show. And we can even start a new one just so you guys get what it's like and you're gonna to wanna to start your career. It's gonna show you the screen. You're gonna press select roster and you're gonna press load saved roster and you're gonna use that XP grind that you ended up using to make it to where you are using the zero overall roster when you are playing the challenges. Now you're gonna end up pressing play next game. It's gonna to have to load rosters and it's gonna look something like this to where there are one overalls everywhere. Now, one thing I would recommend to make this go faster is you can actually go into settings and if you are a two way, you can turn off fielding opportunities and that will help a ton. As far as the motion and sounds things and the things to make it go even quicker, uh, one of the better things that you can end up doing is going to start, go to settings and go to presentation and make sure that it is on fast play. But that's going to make sure that it goes uh, ASAP and goes really, really quickly. Um, but definitely make sure it's on fast play. Other than that, the motions and sounds, if you're a pitcher, I would use, you can use Joe Ryan, Darren O'Day, or Tyler Rogers. Basically, you're just going to want something that goes from the stretch because it'll be a lot quicker. You can see for my ball player, I've just got this going to where he is throwing submarine left-handed and he is absolutely disgusting. This guy is going to be gross for me. He's a little bit cheesy. I understand that. But it's the same for hitting, is whenever you're facing these one overall guys, you're going to be getting puss balls, and you put it on Hall of Fame, and they'll still be throwing like 70 miles an hour. Um, and so it'll be really, really nice because you're just going to get a lot of triples and homers pretty much every time on those plate appearances, and it'll make it go quicker. On the pitching side, you can see, yeah, I'm not running pinpoint, I'm running classic. And the reason why I do classic is it's just the most brain dead way to do it, is you don't have to pay attention, and you can kind of just grind. Um, but it's really helpful to get XP too. You can tell that whenever I'm doing this, I'm playing on legend difficulty versus one overalls. They do actually hit you a little bit on legend difficulty, but the reason why I do this is not only for leveling up the ball player eight, like as fast as possible, but it also really helps whenever you're doing this for the XP, like an XP grinder, um, because you are getting not only all of the XP from the program, uh, and the game to where you're getting like 1800 to 2200 a game and each game will take Anywhere from seven minutes to 11 minutes depending on how long you end up going in the game It's kind of just varies game to game But the big thing is also is that you're getting program XP And so each time you end up getting a new milestone in your ball player program, which is its own specific program You're gonna be getting XP. So you're gonna be earning equipment and you're gonna be earning tiers to help your ball player get better and better and each time you hit one of those milestones you get a 3000 xp boost or 2000 xp depending on what it is but it's roughly around there and that's just going to add your xp per hour totals and i might turn this into an xp video later in the week but under the grand scheme of things you're facing one overall players and you should be having no trouble if you want to get a little more strikeouts and you want the program to go quicker i would recommend lowering 
the difficulty you can make it to where these guys are on all-star and if you're on all-star you're still getting a good amount of xp but you're going to be getting a lot more strikeouts so it's kind of just finding a little bit of that happy medium so we can go to all-star here and since they're one overalls they will not hit and you will just strike them out um, but there is a little bit of a fine line there so i'd either do all-star or hall of fame legend might be a little too extreme and it's not going to change the xp at the end of the game too bad and so i would definitely go this route just because you can see i'm getting a lot more strikeouts by going to a lower difficulty but this is basically it i don't want to make this video a 10 minute long video but this is kind of the fastest way to grind it if you're wanting to know the best archetypes and the best ball player to end up having i'm going to be linking a video right now in my outro that is going to have uh, that build for you so check out that video if you haven't seen that already but this is going to be the quickest way to do it if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this make sure you guys hit that like and sub button as we're going to be killing content here i'll talk to you boys later have a great rest of your day and peace